Hello folks and welcome to Inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time Franklin Christoph's Red 187. Uh, that's uh, California Penal Code from Murda, as a, according to uh, rap artists all over the place. This one is formula number 187. It's also close to the Pantone for 187. So uh, interesting stuff going on there. I wonder if the uh, California police knew about that when they made 187 Murda. Anyway, this is uh, the nice glass bottle that all the Franklin Christoph inks come in. It's a nice thick bottle. Uh, might make it a little heavier for shipping, but, you know, whatever. It's also very safe. You're not going to get this one crushed, that's for sure. Uh, and here's the uh, inside of the bottle. You see the ink up here. It's a very uh, very fluid sort of ink. No real. It's not viscous or anything of that nature. It's kind of a, a nice free-flowing. It's a little bit on the wet side, I would say, which is great. Um, a lot of the pens that I, uh, I use kind of could use a little bit of that. They're a little bit on the dry side. So uh, this is the swatch for this ink, 187. I've got this uh, ink, of course, in two pens. That's what I've been doing lately. I think it's a good way to go. Kind of a wet pen and a dry pen. Uh, the wet pen is going to be uh, the Delta Unica. Let's see. All right, because of the way my tripod is, it has to be a little sideways. Sorry, y'all. Uh, you can go to the blog and see actual straight-up pictures. Uh, this is the Unica. This is um, number 42 in this series. This is one I got from uh, Anderson Pens. There it is. 42, the answer. Anyway, um, so this is a fairly wet nib. If you haven't used a Unica before, these are actually really great steel nibs. A uh, little bit flexy, not a whole lot, don't push on it too hard, but a little bit of flex on this one, but also quite wet, a little bit wide. So uh, with this one, you can see that it's a very rich red when you put down a fair amount of ink. I almost wrote Delta Unica 187, it's red, I'm using red ink, it's called 187, I don't know, my brain uh, just kind of switched off there for about two seconds. But uh, it's a very nice rich red, you can see that it's fairly saturated when you put down a bunch of it. The other pen I used today was another one of my metros, I've got two or three of these I guess three, four, I don't know, a few. They're pretty, they're cheap enough that you can just buy a handful of them, basically. Um, this one has the medium nib on it as well. I didn't use the fine nib on any of these because the fine nib on the Metro is real fine. I just don't have that one inked up at the moment. So anyway, um, this is a drier nib. And so what you're gonna get is uh, well, a little bit more line variation. Well, not line variation, sorry, uh, color variation. You see it shades just a little bit, but that's only because it's on Rhodia and it kind of pools a little bit. You can see a bit more of that down here. Uh, like there, you can see at the top it's light and the bottom it's dark. That's just because of the way the, the ink is. It's not very viscous and it does tend to, to move with the nib. So when you're writing on Rhodia or something like that, it's going to move the ink a little bit. You get a little something that looks like shading. It's not exactly, so I said nope to shading. There's no sheen on this one. There's none that I can detect. It's pretty nice, straight up red. Uh, a lot of the reds that are floating around out there and that people really like are kind of um, blood reds or, uh, I don't know, real dark reds or reds with sheen like um, uh, rouge, hem rouge hematite, that kind of stuff. This one, straight up red. This one and park red, I think I did pretty recently, just straight up reds. And I really like that in a red. I do a lot of grading as a college professor and sometimes I get to do it with pens because I assign homework and that sort of thing. And so I like a nice red red. So graders out there, you will like that, I think. Uh, the other good thing about this ink is that it doesn't bleed. So, here it is. Uh, there's two of them there. Um, these are both Franklin Christoph 187, of course. The top is the Delta. The bottom is the Pilot. I think that I hadn't used the Pilot in a little while, so it kind of condensed. So a little bit here is darker, but then it gets more to the... This is the real color. So it's kind of a... I don't know. It's a step darker than tomato, I would say. Or like a dark tomato, maybe? I don't know. When you flip it over... Um, you see a few dots coming through, but this is real cheap office paper, so you're going to see that. It's not bad, though. Uh, my mom, who's also a college teacher, she teaches English. Hey, mom. Uh, loves this Quaco red stuff. This is her favorite red ink. But she says that after having seen this, uh, she, was, she uh, texted me and said, Hey, what's this uh, Franklin Christoph red like? Uh, we did a little comparison and such. So I did the Quaco red for comparison there. And uh, you can see it bleeds through about as much as the, the 187 does, which is to say just a few dots here and there. Totally acceptable, I think. I hate a lot of bleed on that. Sometimes you want to write small. If you're using a fine nib with the sink, I'm going to say probably no bleed at all. So this one totally behaves very well, and it's much more of a, a red red than that Kaveco red, which is kind of maroonish to my eye. Anyway, there you go. There's the, the bleed through possibility. Here is compared to a bunch of other things. I haven't have a lot of red sitting around. Uh, Kaveco red, of course. And you can see sort of the pinkish maroonish color there. Uh, then uh, Platinum Preppy. Uh, I don't know what ink exactly they put in the Platinum Preppy red pens, but uh, I think it's probably some kind of platinum ink. And, of course, duh. But uh, it's kind of a very bright ink. 
And uh, then uh, the Pilot Petite 2, I wrote one, but it's actually a two. This is sort of the markery fi uh, fiber tip one. Uh, and then that one's kind of just a, a bold red as well. And then, of course, down at the bottom, Kiwa Guru, which is my new favorite black ink. Uh, this is the pigmented one from uh, Sailor. Comes in this cool box. If you haven't seen these before, but uh, I got that on a really good sale on Amazon. If you have the chance, pick some of that stuff up. It is rad. I mean, as rad as a black ink can be, which is kind of surprising. All right, so let's see how this does with water. Get my squirting implement here. Do a little action here on the test bit. Get some of this. Oh, okay, well, a lot of water today. Spilled that full cup of tea on the page. I don't know, something like that. All right, you can see some of the, the red swirling away, especially up here in the water test bit. Let's go ahead and mop that up. Mop, mop, mop. And there we go. Yeah, not a little, well, there's a little bit left. A lot of it came up though. You can see here, this is actually a clean corner. <laughs> Pardon the dirt under my thumbnail. I've been doing gardening, gardening so that's the way it goes. Uh, but yeah, this is all kind of kind of gone mostly. So yeah, not going to be a whole lot sticking around here after water hits it. This has not got great water resistance. It does have a little bit maybe. Uh, you can definitely tell what it said, but it's not, uh, and it's not going to wash completely off, I don't think. But down here, you can see definitely that a lot of it's kind of gone. So I'm going to go ahead and say no real water resistance on this one. Of course, I'm not terribly surprised because I've already done the chromatography, and there it is, red 187. I'll insert the video here. You can watch it go up the page. All right, so there it was. Uh, and down here, of course, where I started, just nothing left. Everything left, and it all fled up the page a bit. So, uh, yeah, nothing really going on here for water resistance. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the way that goes. Uh, let's see, I've got it on a, a, a word card as well. Let's see. Uh, there's the Kaveco Red. Where's the other one? Ah, oh, here it is. Frank Christoph's Red. So you can see it's definitely a brighter red. So worth noting, this is a really good uh, good red. Uh, this is one of my three favorites in this collection. Uh, yeah, I pick favorites sometimes. And uh, this time, this is one of the favorites. I really like this one a lot. So uh, that's been Franklin Christoph's Red, number 187. Check out uh, this uh, ink on the Franklin Christoph website, Franklin Christoph, Franklin Christoph.com. You can get it for, I think it's $12.50 a bottle for a 59 milliliter bottle, so about two ounces. It's about a third smaller than a Noodler's bottle. Uh, but nonetheless, good bottle, good ink, uh, bottled uh, by hand in their facility near Raleigh, North Carolina. So they're kind of local to me. Thanks very much to Scott for letting me uh, uh, review these inks for him. I really appreciate the opportunity and I really like these inks. So go check out Franklin Kristoff, also one of my favorite pin makers of all time. I mean, uh, this is one of my, my rotation pins for sure. It's always in there, uh, the number 27. Uh, this is one of their less expensive pins, but nonetheless, very good pin. Anyway, check out the review for that. If you, the review for, whoa, goodness, everything's falling off the desk. Check out the review for that if you want. I had a little coffee today, I guess. And um, also, if you like what I'm doing here at inkdependence.com and you want to help support the blog, please go over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to figure out how you can help. Um, that uh, site allows me to just uh, take donations like on a monthly basis. So if you want to support the blog, become a patron, uh, then um, you know sign up there and help me out. I've got a pen show coming up in D.C. and I'm going to need, uh, well, need some dollars, at least gas money to get up to D.C. So anyway, uh, please, uh, as much or as little as you'd like to, to help out if you enjoy the blog, man, help out, help out the, the blogger a little bit. That's me. And that's Patreon. So uh, please check that out. Check out Franklin Kristoff, and I will see you around. Peace out.